What is going on YouTube, Fez and family, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all latest UK meetup updates and story videos and today I've got an interesting video for you guys, make sure you smash the like button, let's try and get a thousand likes and follow us on Instagram at Fezify. So Patrick McCann is Jordan's brother, he got caught up in a case not long ago and was sentenced in 2017, I'm going to get into exactly what happened. You guys are smashing the views on his story Jordan, it's on 100k already, so I had to make this video for you guys, a lot of people was asking me on Instagram what actually happened to Patrick McCann, so let's get into it. He does actually rap as well and we could see him rapping if future when he comes out but it's going to be quite a while away he's got caught up in a serious case let's just get into the video and first let's touch on the case and what happened so guys a lot of you are probably wondering what actually happened to patrick mccann jordan's brother i'll explain his case him and his friends got a hundred plus years inside 107 was the exact number in an array of tit for tat shootings that was clocked onto by the police the people involved in this case was of course Patrick McCann, which is Jordan's brother, and then Kane Morrison as well, which is one of Jordan's friends, and they're from the area Farnworth. There was two guys called Mark Murray and John Kennedy, they were from Southard. There were two more guys called Anthony Smith and Harry Allen, they weren't associated with any gang. All these guys were described in the media as very, very violent and said they were willing to use guns and even took pictures at times posting with them. The first shooting to occur was to do with Mark Murray. When he was inside, someone got into a relationship with his girlfriend at the time, or even ex-girlfriend, and when he came out, he was not happy about it. So they went to find his cousin, who was an innocent bystander, and he was shot in the arms and legs as they asked for his cousin, which was called Dicko. And also while this is going on, Kane Morrison, who was in this case, was present while one of the gang members which was targeting this event was robbed for his motorbike. In a retaliation to these events, the guy I mentioned earlier, Kane Morrison, which was close to Patrick, his house was targeted, which his mother lived at. His mother's partner was actually shot in the back. So, of course, Patrick had the rivalry with that other side, and we thought it would be a direct tit for tat because of what was caused by Mark Murray doing what he did to that guy in the last shoot. But they were saying it could be due if someone they was beefing with motorbike was actually robbed, and they thought it was a response to that. So, Jordan's brother, Patrick McCann, and Kay Morrison, his friend whose house was shot at, was obviously angry because his stepdad had been shot and his mum's house had been targeted, so they wanted to do another retaliation. And of course, the guy that done the shooting they was involved in previously, which was called Murray, they went to for the gun. But that whole little situation and transaction of the gun actually went kind of wrong. When he went to get the gun, it got passed around a bit too much and something went a bit crazy. There was even pictured at the scene, like took a little picture to mark the occasion of the meeting of them getting the gun. But when they got it, Patrick and Kane, they passed it on to someone called Anthony to look after it. And he passed it on to his friend John. And the guy John that had the gun passed on to him accidentally shot himself in the stomach it must have been like a cheddar bob situation out of eight mile i don't know how he managed to do it but he did i don't know if he was playing around with it but that's actually what happened it got passed around a few times and someone accidentally shot himself then a further two shootings happened at an address linked to one of their ops connor holland on october the 10th firstly they targeted an address they thought he lived at and was associated with it said two men believed to be k morrison and harry allen were on a motorbike which some shots were fired at the home of holland's father it was said they was on a motorbike but the crazy thing about that imagine if it was actually the same motorbike that sparked this whole beef that kane was meant to have robbed of these people he's beefing and retaliating to after that shooting they actually did another one at another address that connor their op was linked to so Murray was branded the most dangerous offender for providing the weapons and participating in the first shooting and organise it. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison and of course it was alleged that he provided the weapon for the second shooting. That's why he got so much time and will only be released if he's eligible by the parole board. As for Kennedy, Morrison and Jordan's brother Patrick McCann, they were all sentenced to 17 years. McCann got slightly more, got 17 years and 2 months. Allen was sentenced to 16 years and 2 months and Smith was sentenced to 14 years and 3 months. All of the defendants involved except for Smith will be subject to gangbos for 5 years following their release in a bid to prevent them further offending. So Patrick McCann's direct charges in this, um, he pleaded guilty to conspiracy to possess a firearm and attempt to endanger life. These guys were considered very dangerous and violent and it was said there was other disputes that the police didn't find out about or what documented but it was known to have many many encounters with their rivals. The police actually did quite a crazy job on this, they was investigating them for a while and had to piece together all their movements due to CCTV footage and obviously an investigation where they was following people. 
It's crazy, this was back in 2017, meaning he's already served three years inside and he's gotten a sentence 17 years and two months and we don't know how much of that he's going to serve. He could serve quite a bit of that sentence as well, so I don't expect to see him anytime soon. In the next five to eight years, he should be out though. This area of Salford's crazy and there's still violence going on there now, but it's safe to say Jordan's really grew up in the trenches and grew up around there. His fire in the booth touched a lot of people and his family around him have all been through that lifestyle that he talks about, including him. But it'd be good to see him get his brother back and make him more positive to have that person around him. I'm sure he misses him as well. He shouts out the other guy, I believe Kane on tracks as well, I've heard his name. And um, he's very, very loyal to his people. It'd be good to see Patrick back at some point and hopefully he can get involved in his music. So I want to show you more of his music and freestyles. He had on YouTube, but not in a professional recording studio, but still he was a decent rapper and it seemed like he was talking a struggle like how Jordan does. But that's easy, brother, coming from a straight head. The road's calling me back. I like Pookie and New Jack. I'm in the trap cooking crack. But wait, let me take you back. Way back before this trap, when the pain first started. I was left broken hearted. My dear daddy departed. He died in a cell, and I was living in hell. Only 14 years old, with a heart so cold, I can only embrace the road and relate to people no. equally as cold. That's why at 15, I was slapping P.O. Tearing on the roads and the stolen. Till I got pinks, it's like my Christmas got grinched. No tip before the peg is straight to the click. Mel bed, toilet and a sink. We know to do both things and inhale the stink. But only then, I could have put paper to it. But back to the roads and back to the click. For seven years, we dragged me through fears and tears to make the most of that I am today. University of Crime, I graduated with an A. Remorseless is what they say But they make the beast They release it to the streets I just thought we'd go to real 40 quid a week Instead, we carjack and house cream While the normal sleep We work under the night We know it takes to get caught bro Putting up a fight You want to be a hero? You're going to meet my knife very, very similar. Quite a similar sound. He's a decent rapper. That wasn't professionally recorded anything. Just a little freestyle they put out on YouTube. And he seems decent. Um, of course, he also talked about his dad dying in prison. Which Jordan's talked about on his fire in the booth as well. How it affected them both. And probably why they got such into violence. Not having a father figure. But these guys can achieve a lot. Patrick should get another chance in the future. I'm sure when he comes out, he's going to jump on his rap thing. He must have seen the success his brothers had. Which is absolutely crazy. His fire in the booth has surpassed a million very quickly. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I actually enjoyed making this one because I'm a huge fan of Jordan. So looking into this story weren't too in-depth for me. It took a while to make it, but I had to do it for you guys. Subscribe to the channel for all the latest UK updates and story videos. Can we try to get this to a thousand likes? And comment below any stories you want to see. Anything you're curious about, I'll do in-depth research into and look about exactly what happened. So if you want to know about anything or anyone and their story, comment below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.